Hello again, welcome to another exciting episode of Troglodyte Dungeon Master. In this episode, I am going to take a brief detour here and harvest this chlorophyte, which is spread nicely. And then we are going to go to the dungeon and see the arena that I set up over there. It's not quite done. Um, there's still the matter of the necromancers and the dark casters and the diabolists and uh, all the other... The, um, magician-y kind of guys that uh, it doesn't really successfully kill. Um, there's something that Arcanauts does where he sets up a platform that, you know, turns off and on every three seconds, and that way if they spawn in that platform, um, they will fall right in the lava. I will probably do something similar because I can't think of anything better than that. Uh, but if I do, maybe I'll change it up. Who knows? Um, while I was in the dungeon, I caught quite a few things. Uh... This was just for me setting up the arena. I wasn't trying to farm it or anything. A couple of key brands. I think that is uh, from a, another video game. Um, and the banana... Banana Rang. That's exactly what you think it is. I think I got this from a clown during a blood moon. It would make sense. I mean, what else would the clown give you? It stinks, but whatever. I got a rocket launcher. Um, I think... Yeah, I got this as a drop from, I think, a... a skeleton or something. And a bone feather, I'm guessing, makes bone wings. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? We'll talk to the guy. Maybe he'll tell me something different. But if it's like all the other feathers, it's probably that. Um, I don't remember running across bone wings. If I had to guess, they're probably not that good. Um, skipping around a bit, but the SWAT helmet... Got this from the dungeon. Looks more like a football helmet to me. I don't know. But I can't see my beard in it, so it's got to go. The beard has to show. And last but not least, the Wisp in the Bottle. That is the one that will replace the Fairy Bell. Gives us a lot more light. Look at how bright that is. Oh, my eyes almost hurt. Ugh. So this should give us about, not to skip around or anything, but this should give us about 100 chlorophyte, minus the four that are going to go into the seeds. I'm going to harvest this off camera, and uh, next time you see me, I am, I was actually going to do it on camera, but that seems pointless. You do, <laughs> it's so stupid. You don't need to see me uh, dig this out, and besides, I'd rather show off the dungeon more. So like I said, I will harvest this off camera, and then I will see you in a moment. Okay, and we're back. I was going to start right at the dungeon, but I wanted to show you how much light the wisp provided, and I know there's no real lighting around here, so... Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Kind of moves with the motion of the left analog stick on the PS4. But there is some delay. And every now and then, uh, the wisp kind of falls behind for some unknown reason. I don't know why. I just said it, I don't know why twice. Cool. And there he falls back again, and then zooms ahead. I don't know. Bet the developers would be like, Oh, well, he does that because, uh, and in the, in the vernal equinox, and, okay, guys, whatever. I'm not criticizing you. Don't get so defensive. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to have to create another way into the dungeon, because this way, um, it takes a little bit of time, and it's not dangerous per se, but I do usually lose a few hearts in the way. Decided to build it in the bigger dungeon area on the left here, where I usually farmed my um, uh, goodie bags. Oh, you necromancers. I hate you. God, I hate you guys. And the Diabolist. I didn't even know about them. They took forever to show up, and when they did, they ruined my life. <laughs> Look at the fireball they throw. It leaves me on fire for ten seconds. Look, I'm still on fire. Still losing life. Here is my dungeon area. Let me zoom out a bit. 
Got this little pot in here to stand in. Honey provides a bit of boost to health. It's pretty common knowledge. And uh, heart lantern in there and a switch to cover me and to drop um, spiky balls. On the left you might see some darts coming by. I'm not sure how much damage they do. I never see them actually make the enemies go Ooh. That's the technical term. Works pretty well. A um, couple of flaws, like I said, with the necromancers and diabolists and such and such. I can't really attack them this way, although I did bring some tools to try to fix that. Um, and then there are the ectoplasms. Once they're released, they... Ooh, here we go. Dungeon Spirit. They come to me, and if I don't do anything, I'll just get hit until I die. <laughs> so this isn't an AFK farm, at least not yet anyway. I'm going to have to figure out how to deal with them. I might... Uh, I'm going to need to go to another world and harvest spear traps. I might do that the next episode. And then I could replace these with spears. And maybe put the spiky balls eh, somewhere else. Or maybe not at all. I don't know. They seem to do decent damage right below me. But if I had the spear traps, maybe they would do even better damage. Stupid paladin. I mean, this is what I kind of want to farm. I want to farm this paladin, but he takes forever to die. And I want to go build stuff. Ugh. I got... Oh, shoot. I think this is still okay. I was going to do all three colors to show which does which, but... The red controls the spiky balls and the dart traps. The blue turns off the ceiling, or turns on the ceiling, so I'm protected from things above. Not that it helps against those ectoplasms. And I was going to have the green lead over to the platforms to turn them off and on. And I just realized I forgot something else. Oh, good grief. <laughs> okay. So, the whole reason I wanted three different colors is so that one switch could trigger three different things. And I want to have um, another timer specifically for the um, platforms. Three seconds. I want to give them time to spawn. If it's every one second it just turns off and on. I don't think that's enough time. Actually, five seconds might be better. What about five seconds? Hmm. I'm not sure. Would that be too long? No, let's try five seconds. Okay. Um... I get everything I need now. Once again, I will see you when I'm back at the dungeon. Back once again. Um, something else I've learned from these back and forth trips is that I definitely need to set up a teleporter to get me down here. Oh, it is so cumbersome. Now, I set up these platforms as spawning platforms. I bet you don't need this many. I bet... One or two would be sufficient, because every time one spawns, it falls down, and then another one's going to spawn in its place. So this this might be excessive. Um, but I'll keep it as is for now. Well, let's see. What if I tore down this one? Wait. Let me see that again. Okay, the wire's running through. I don't think that's going to matter. I think we're okay there. Um, let me tear down this platform. And let me tear down this platform. Okay, so they can spawn on those two, and I guess they could also spawn in this third one if they really, if they really felt inclined to do it. Actually, I should not replace that weapon. That's like my best weapon against these guys. Okay. Um... I don't like the little holes there. I gotta fix the holes. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so put actuators on these. See? This is actually exactly why I need the platforms. Okay. Should be using wire first. I can see what I'm doing. 
For some reason, you can't see the actuators until you've used wire. I know not why. I don't know why I'm doing this from so far away. Zoom in a bit. Okay. Dungeon spirits! Ah! Oh. See what a pain these guys are? <laughs> That's why I don't even bother to fight them, because I know they're just going to come right back. I'd rather get this done. Oh, you would spawn right there. Jerk face. Okay, those two are done. And this one. Guys! I'm a busy man. Okay, the timer has to be in such a place that um, it doesn't interfere with anything else. Okay, oh, that feels like a waste of. Can I put it somewhere over here? Whoa. No, because then it would it would set a timer on this, and then this would just turn the platform above me would turn off and on every whatever seconds. Hmm. Oops. Okay. It'd be it'll be probably a little ugly, but I could put it right here maybe. See, I could put it here. But then the wire has to go all the way through here before it can touch this, or this won't get timed. So, at least here, it, like, it stops here, and then it can go straight down and move over. Okay, so there's the five-second timer. And I can't place it there? Maybe it has to be placed onto something. Can I take this out now? Nope. Hmm... We're okay. We're okay. This whole top part isn't being used as a spawn area anyway, so... Put that there. Put that like it's a cubby. And now I need my wrench back. Okay. And these wisps are going to be in my way. I'm not going to like it. Okay, that's good. Look at this. Stupid ectoplasms! Ooh, green and red makes gold. I didn't know that. Everything art class taught me was a lie! <laughs> Ooh, random piece of wire here. Whoops. There we go. And I think I'm going to need these shelves to lay this wire. So let me just take that real quick. There we go. Oops, oops, it's okay. You're okay. So, right there, and maybe there. I feel like I'm going to need a third one, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Could I reach? Yeah. Not as pretty as I would like. And actually, that's not even close to being as pretty as I would like, so get rid of that. Fall on the lava. Okay, good. We're not good, but it is what it is. Look at this guy finding any spot he can perch. Stupid. Yeah, I wanted that. Okay. Oop, that sounds like a paladin. Which is bad news for me. Oh, come on. This is almost done. What a pain in the neck you guys are. I could have sworn I caught a shelf. Now I'm just dying. Great. 
<laughs> so let's lead off the switch. Can I just put it right there? Okay, I think that's fine. Could you just die, Paladin? I'm doing important things right now. Look at that jerk. He knows exactly when I've risen. Need another shelf. There we go. And I just randomly destroyed the environment here. Man, I'm too busy to worry about stupid stuff. Who cares about the environment? Don't kill me, Paladin! Oh. I think the Paladin's dead. And I think there's a new Paladin down there. Well, at least the farm is working. He's my probably gonna try to speed up the paladin death here. There you go. See another grenade launcher down there. Am I safe now? Can I move? No, I apparently can't. Almost done. Leave me alone. <laughs> Come on. You can't reach. Not one little bit. Yes, you can. Right there. Good. All right. Get rid of these shelves so we don't have random spawns. Maybe I'm being a little too careful because I'm losing some stuff here. Risking my life to go through the lava to get this stuff. That's Tabby. I got a Tabby. I think that completes my ninja set. Oh no! 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 <laughs> it's too late! It's too late! <sighs> you know guys, I hate you all. I do. So die. The platform's working? Can't tell from here. Shoot, I'm gonna have to activate this outside of my little cubby here. Oh, did I lose my timer too? Oh, no wonder it wasn't working. Oh, no! Come over here, guys! Run this way! There's a detour. Okay, and then there's my timer. Perfect, and I'm gonna die. Look at this nonsense. Holy Christmas. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, we're gonna fix this. Okay. Right, that's right, they have to be placed on something. Turn on the timer. There we go. Why are you activating that? You're not even connected to that. <laughs> We're okay. We're okay. This looks like a colossal failure, but we're okay. Alright. Alright. Okay, no, we're not okay. We're not we're not okay. Yeah, because I lost the blue wire. Oh <laughs> Hmm. 
Okay. Well, let's see if the, the is this working? Is this turning off and on every five seconds? Oh yeah. No, this is an every three seconds kind of thing, and oh my god! <laughs> it's a tricky business, those timers. That didn't look every five seconds, did it? It looked every one second. Okay, alright. Alright, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Let's just, just take everything like I should have the original, originally. And there's the tabby. Which can combine. Where is it? Down here. Put them all in this third one. Yes, I did. Okay, so this combines with this, combines with this to make the the ninja set, so that you can climb walls and you can dodge attacks of randomly, and uh, you can dash, which I don't really care about, but we'll make it. Maybe next episode. Oh shoot. I don't feel done with this episode. Okay. I'm going to try to tinker with that dungeon off camera, and then I'll be back, and we'll see if it's working correctly. All right. See you in another moment. Okay, I was going to show you the progress on this thing, but uh, solar eclipse. And this is the first time we've had a chance to show a solar eclipse on camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this episode now so that we can start fresh with the solar eclipse on the next episode. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Goodbye.